Hello, welcome to my newest, one of my newest wire patches. This is Ember Mask. Ember Mask creates a fire look uh, to the actual uh, masking of a specific object or asset uh, to your graphic. Uh, it allows you to make many different types of adjustments to the system. Uh, I've tried to make it, this one's a little bit more simplified than some of the other ones, uh, mainly because it's, it's going directly over the top of it. Uh, there's not really too much as far as the craziness in, involved in this one. Uh, however, it allows for a very unique effect. I really do like this one. This one was one of my favorites to create. Uh, what it does is we have these series of options here. Uh, this option, the inner flame, is of course the inner flame of the yellow. So if I choose a specific color from this set, I can uh, adjust the, the color uh, accordingly. So I'm going to select the fire head, if you will, and that one's set to yellow. So what we'll do is we'll change this to a lighter blue, and you'll notice that it changes, it reflects in the uh, in the system. And uh, likewise, the rest of them are the same, You uh, mid-tones. And then the outer flame, which is uh, kind of the uh, the final out set. And then you also have an overglow. The overglow is basically like it it just kind of washes over the the entire thing, just to kind of give it some sort of uh, a, a a difference, a, a kind of um, uh, make it feel a little bit more varied. Varied. Uh, so you're getting a sort of variation throughout the entire thing. Uh, the inner glow size is exactly that. It's the actual size of the inner glow, the inner flame. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need to change that name. It needs to be the inner flame. However, what this does is it basically allows that to grow. And the reason being, the reason why you would want that is because in some cases uh, you wouldn't want uh, the inner of the flame to be as big or as small. So that gives you the ability to adjust the inner glow. Um, size of that inner flame. Uh, the amount, the overglow amount, that's this bottom one here, uh, that basically adds a transparency to it so that it's not so uh, overbearing on the actual graphic. If you look at this graphic here, you'll notice that um, the blue is not there, but if I select it and drag it through, it, it gets a little bit darker. You'll notice there are these peaks of, of this, this bluish color. The left and right are exactly that. It allows you to adjust the left and right of the actual model itself. This has more to do with how it, it sits with inside of the graphic. Um, you can basically adjust it so that if for whatever reason the, the wave or the, 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 the inner um, workings of the flame, this, this this kind of um, fire is too far left or too far right. You can use these two settings, the left, right, up, down, to kind of maneuver it within the specific area that you want it to affect. So that was the reason for that. So if I, you'll notice as I move this, you'll notice that the f the fire of the of the the head there, the hair, just kind of moves up and down, and so it just gives you an option to kind of move it around to place it where you want it to be. The increase the wave is exactly that. You'll notice that there are these like little pieces that are kind of uh, waving off the, the actual uh, object. If you don't like that, you can decrease that so that it's not so powerful. Um, it, you won't notice it on the front one because there's two different kinds of flames going on here. Uh, there's the front of the head and then there's the hair itself in this particular case. So you'll notice that the hair doesn't have as many uh, wisps uh, however, if I increase the wave, there are a lot more wisps now. So that's the premise behind that. And that's pretty much it for all the tutorial and how this all works. There's some really great looks that this uh, creates. Uh, I especially liked it with all of my illustrations. It really has make, made them feel like uh, just more dramatic. I really do like how it's, it, it, it comes off. So that's pretty much it for the Ember Mask. I hope you appreciate and, and like this. And, uh, you know, you know, uh, tell me if you have any questions, comments, complaints, concerns. Uh, give me a, uh, send me an email. Uh, my email address is jacobmesick at gmail.com. Uh, thank you very much for your interest, and I hope you have a great day.